a warm greeting to one and all. Myself, Dr. S. B. Kishore, welcome you all in the today's session, viewing the points of PPT slide by focusing or hiding or in reverse order. So, in general, participant can view all the points. You may call it a text or caption at once. But as a speaker, you can control this in a different manner. So, what I mean to say is that, in general approach, user is able to view all the points at once that you are showing and he may read or view other points while you are discussing about the particular point. So, question arise, if there is any solution to control this? So, of course, we have. So, we can highlight whereby a user is able to view only one point at a time. It means participant will be able to view only one point at a time or by hiding a point where as soon as the second point appear, the first point, first point will get what? Disappear. And in the last case, reverse order, we are displaying all the points one by one in the reverse order. So, like I said, in the default case, the user is viewing all the points at once. It means he is able to see all the points at once. And while you are discussing about this particular point, user may read or view other points. Okay. So, it means there is not much more attention that user is going to give on your point that you are discussing. So, solution for this is what? Showing only one point at a time. So, see, we are showing the first point and as soon as you click on the next point, the first point will get dim and the second point will get highlighted and similarly the others. So, as soon as you click on the uh, click button, the first point will get what? Dim and the next point will get highlighted. The step for this is already given over here. This is only for your reference purpose. Of course, we will do all these things in the practical session. So, here now, the user will give much more attention on the point that you are discussing. In the second case, we can hide a point. So, see what is what we can do here. So, as soon as you click on the next point, the first point will get what? Disappear. I am clicking over here. So, as soon as I click, the first point will get what? The previous point will get disappear. It means we are giving, now user will give much more attention on the point that you are discussing. And in the last case, we can highlight the point in the reverse order, okay, that is 5, 4. So, basically, I am showing here the greatest all rounder. So, I want to display all those, all those in the counting manner, like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But, of course, we are displaying only one point at a time, okay. So, now it is the time to do a practical session of this, what we all learn. So, I am showing you all the slide. Of course, they are, we don't have, uh, we have not put any kind of animation or transition. So, these are the very general one, okay. So, now we will put the animations on all these points. So, first is what? Highlight or shift the focus one point, a point, one point at a time. So, select all the points, select animation, select any one of the style. Suppose, I have selected a split. Then, here there is one button called as show additional effect option. Click on this. Here, after animation, don't dim. So, select here a color that you want to give. You can give any color. Then on the timing, select the action on click action. So, see what is happening here. As soon as the next point appears, the first point get what? Dim. So, you can give any colors. We can view current slide. See. So, as soon as I am clicking on the next point, the first point is getting dim one. So, you can give any color. Now, how to hide? So, again select all the points. Again, animation, suppose fly in, again, click on show additional effect option. Now, here, after animation, instead of don't dim, select hide on next mouse click, hide on next mouse click, then select the timing, start with on click. Now, see the effect. Okay. Now, we can view a current slide. So, as soon as I am clicking on any button, the next point, the first point get disappear. Okay. And now, the last one, that is the reversing. So, select all the point again. Again, animation, you can give any one. Suppose, again, fly in. Now, you can also add additional animation. Suppose, I am selecting here bouncing. Okay. And then, finally, select what? Show additional effect option timing again on click and now text animation in reverse order. Now see what is happening here. So it is showing all the points one by one in the reverse order. 
okay so remember dear friend the basic purpose of all this is what to show only one point at a time so that the audience or viewer will we will give much more attention on the point that you are discussing i hope that you understood both the practical session and the ppt with that thank you thank you very much have a nice day